Hey, my name is Deepak and in this video, I'll show you how I have created this page programmatically. Uh, I like last week I worked for 40 plus hours and like made all this happen. And I tweeted about this and a lot of people uh, were interested in knowing the like how exactly it's done. So today I'm making this video. I'll show you everything from the start. So let's get to it. Uh, if I show you the page, this is how it looks exactly. This is the hero section, then we have some charts. This is a pie chart and this is a line chart or area chart. Then we have these two uh, programmatic SEO areas covered here in these two sections. And then we have four different competitors. And then we have like inside section where you can uh, like learn about how exactly and what exactly the website is doing. Then we have some internal links uh, to other case studies. Then we have some uh, additional references and resources. So let's get inside WordPress. At first, if I show you my plugins list, these are the plugins that I installed. Like for programmatic SEO, this one is needed, which is advanced custom fields. Uh, then we have this WP All Import SEF add-on, WP All Import Rank Math add-on, and WP All Import Pro, and that's all. Uh, and this is the one plugin which I have created by using uh, cursor. Uh, I have coded uh, like using AI. So these are the plugins that you need. And moving forward, first I'll show you that I have created a post type inside SEF. The post type is called breakdowns. And for that post type, I have a few custom fields as well. Like not a few exactly. I, I think I have 82 custom fields and like some are text type, URL type, images, text area. So these are the uh, like custom field types. Then let's go inside the WP All Import, Manage Imports, and let me click on this PSEO Strategy Edit Template button. Uh, I, I like I'm not using the default WordPress content area, so I have left it blank. And this is just the name, yes, Singing Carrots. Here I have enabled that decode HTML entities uh, because I have some uh, HTML data inside Google Sheets as well for images. I only have two images on the page, one for the featured image and one the icon that I'm showing here on the in the first section, this one. So all these images uh, are hosted externally if you see uh, the Cloudinary link here. And yeah, for all those images, these are the alt text for the first image. This is the alt text for seven, second image. Actually, this is the title text and the exact same is the alt text. Moving on, yeah, uh, this is the SEO settings from the Rank Math plugin. And these are the advanced custom fields, uh, like options for the break breakdowns fields. This is the post type, custom post type. And then we have the field. So we just have to drag drop from here and matching match everything. So moving ahead, other breakdown options. We have some options here, like the slug, uh, author and stuff. And then that's it. This is the setting. This is all you see. So now if you go to breakdowns, and let me open any one of the like for example singing carrots if i click on this edit button you'll see that it has the title but it doesn't have any content uh, but it has all the custom fields that we have created like the images are downloaded the monthly visitors uh, his chart this is the html code and yeah some all the information uh, like for the custom fields are here so the next option was to install this a plugin that I have created. It's called DN Custom Fields Parser. So if I click here, I have clicked like check that breakdowns. Select the post types where you want to parse custom fields. So I have selected breakdowns. And if I go here, appearance editor. So you'll see that uh, I have a custom template for that post type. If I click on templates, it should be here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, this one is single item breakdown. So this is the template. I'm clicking on it. This is how the template looks like for the hero section. These are the variables that you see, which is coming from the custom fields that we have. This is also the variable. Uh, this is, I think, yeah, this is not variable. This is static. Then for the image, this is the like icon variable. Similarly, we have the, this icon, I think. Yeah. For this, we had to write HTML, which is here, monthly visitors, domain age, pages indexed, and all the information that you see on the page is coming from the custom fields, like most of the information. For example, the similar wave last updated date is coming from uh, another uh, custom post type, sorry, custom fields. Similarly, it, like this is how the page is edited. In, in fact, all the emojis are also coming from custom fields. And then we have this uh, internal link section for more case studies. 
and then we have this section. So this is how exactly it's done. And if I show you the Google Sheets, this is how exactly it looks. We have so many data points like singing carrots. This, these are the names of the programmatic SEO examples, their websites. These are manually collected. The icons, uh, featured images, uh, this is automatically being created. If I click here, yeah, this is a featured image for the singing carrots. Then we have monthly visitors, domain age, and yeah, several data like niche it belongs to, the niche second niche it belongs to, the chart, uh, history chart, last updated, post, page type, how many programmatic SEO areas they have done. The area one, again, this is manually collected. Uh, the page type, is it like landing page type or simple article type, uh, search intent, several data points that you see. I can just keep scrolling to the right and we have till CU, which is I think over 100 columns of data. And for some of these things, we are using AI. If I go here, you can see that we have written some prompts and some outputs are getting from the AI here. Similarly, yeah, some of the information is being created using AI. Uh, but in this column, you can see that like uh, these are all manually collected, like uh, old monthly visitors. And uh, this is also manually collected from the website, I think. Yeah, I, it must be collected from Google or somewhere. So I just copy pasted uh, what Singing Carrot is about here and then used AI to rewrite it in the format that I want. And uh, yeah, post type, page type is selected from here. Similarly, these are the data points uh, manually collected. And I'm using for this, I'm using OpenAI GPT 4.0. Here is my API. This is the like customer script that I've written. Uh, actually, I'll put uh, a link to the script in the description below. And uh, I'm using this GPT 4.0 model uh, for all the data that is being created using AI. And if you see, uh, we have separate tabs for like page speed. So the, all the page speed related information is coming here. We have similar web. So all the similar web related information is coming from the here, from the API. Uh, and images are being generated here. Uh, then sub, we have some additional information. And yeah, ar for archive page, this is another like, this was kind of a bit complicated to create the archive page. I mean, this archive page. So I wanted to automatically update it whenever new items are added. Um, these has to be manual, like automatically updated. So for that, I created this archive page and I just put uh, HTML thing and there are some variables for example in the h2 tag there should be the website name which is singing car carrot then the description and then monthly visitors and some variables are here as all the HTML uh, are being created for each row here then I'm pulling out all the HTML uh, in this Google Sheets as columns like in that in this Google Sheet you can see that the data is in different rows but we, I wanted it to be in different columns so it was simple I just asked chat GPT uh, to create a script like that and it worked. Then I combined all the data from the columns to this single column, single cell actually. And then this is being done um, like this is just one page because one row is equal to one page in WP all import. So the data is just being pushed to the page. So yeah, this is how I have done this. So I hope this is helpful and yeah, just let me know if you want to see anything else and I'll do that. That's it. And I'll see you in the next video.